After a tough four-month contest, Kemi Badenoch has just been elected as the new leader of the Conservative Party, officially taking over from Rishi Sunak. So, let's break down how this fiercely fought race unfolded and what's next for Badenoch as she steps up to lead. It's been a rollercoaster few months for the Conservatives. After a rocky general election led by Sunak that didn't quite go as planned, the door was open for fresh leadership. Enter Kemi Badenoch, the former cabinet minister, who's now got the top Tory job after facing off against none other than Robert Jenrick in the final ballot of party members. Badenoch described her win as an enormous honour and declared, it's time for the Conservatives to get back to business. She wasted no time in setting her sights on Labour, warning Prime Minister Keir Starmer that he's about to realise, maybe a bit too late, the cost of not having a solid plan. So what does this mean for the Tory lineup? Badenoch's win is already shaking things up. Rishi Sunak, along with his former Chancellor Jeremy Hunt, will now head back to the back benches. Hunt actually welcomed the change, saying the party needs fresh energy at the top. Meanwhile, James Cleverley, another former rival, also decided to return to the back benches. He said that he's ready to leave the tight confines of leadership roles and avoid being boxed back into a narrow band again. Now let's rewind and look at how Kemi Badenoch made it here. The race initially started with six candidates, each bringing their unique platform. The first to be eliminated was Dame Priti Patel, followed by Mel Stride. Badenoch was a strong contender from the start, but Robert Jenrick gained early traction, especially among MPs. And then came the Conservative Party conference in Birmingham. This was a turning point. James Cleverley suddenly surged ahead. But after a few surprising moves in the MP voting round, Cleverley just missed the final two by a few votes. This left Badenoch to reclaim her spot as the favourite, and bookmakers took note, pushing her odds to the top once again. So what's Badenoch's agenda? For starters, she's got her eyes on reform, with past work as the Women and Equalities Minister, and her outspoken stance on defining sex in the Equality Act. And, in his campaign, Jenrick had also pushed for changes, like leaving the European Convention on Human Rights. But now, Badenoch has the floor. The latest numbers show the Conservatives hold only 121 seats in Parliament, down from their 2019 peak. With just under 25% of the national vote, the party has its work cut out for them if they want to make a comeback next election. What do you think about Kemi Badenoch's win? Will her leadership bring the change the Conservatives need? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more political updates.